Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Unreal Engine 5 auto setup for Relusion Character Creator or iClone 8. So this right here, I would say, is probably the fastest and probably the cheapest way on getting some realistic clothes in Unreal Engine 5 that are simulated. I mean, honestly, if you don't have Marvelous Design or you just don't know how to simulate good clothes, I would look into Relusion iClone characters and clothes. So with that being said, if you have iClone, uh, they do have some free characters here we can test out. And let me go ahead and show you this one. But basically what the new auto setup is going to let you do is go ahead and export this character out of here from iClone or Character Creator 4 into Unreal Engine 5.03, which is the current version right now, with simulated physics. So if I go ahead and press play to this, you're going to see that her skirt actually has a little bit of physics moving around, which is really nice. And honestly, if you know clothes simulations, it's no joke. <laughs> it's pretty hard to do. So if you want something quick like this, I mean, honestly, I've seen a lot of videos and music videos with cloth simulations. This looks a lot better than what they have. So, yeah, what we're going to do now is really just simply export this out of iClone or Character Creator 4 into Unreal Engine 5 and then just show you what it looks like in UE5. Okay, so what we'll do is go to Plugins in a Character Creator 4 and we're going to go get the tool for Unreal. As soon as Unreal Engine 5 updates their engine, these guys will have to create a new plugin or auto setup. I'll go ahead and go to this current one and I'll just copy this to the project I'm working on right now, which I actually have already opened up right here. So this one is just a project that I have and this is the folder, the root folder, and then I will just paste these three files into this folder right here. And after that, I'll just double click my project and this is going to open up Unreal Engine 5.03. All right, so here we are in Unreal Engine 5. I'll go ahead and press G here. And to double check if we have the plugin already installed, I go to Edit, Plugins, and then we're going to look for iClone. You're going to see the check marks there, so we are good to go. Next up, what we're going to do is go ahead and create a new folder. Right click, New Folder, and I'll just name this Sam, and I'll double click in there. Because what we actually have to do now is export this character from Character Creator 4 so we can go ahead and import it to Unreal. So I'll go to File, Export, FBX, Cloth Character, and then I'll select Unreal right here. We're going to want the mesh and the motion. I'm not going to mess around with the texture size, but if you want 4K, go ahead and select that. And then I'll do the current animation. I want to export the entire animation. And then for the frame rate, you can choose 30, 60, 24, whichever you want. I'll leave that by default. And then if I go to the setting, let's make sure everything is good. We have Embed Motion, A Post for Unreal, and then Texture Unreal. This is important if you're trying to retarget this animation into an Unreal Engine skeleton. You definitely want to make sure that that's good to go. All right, so everything is good there. And I'm going to go ahead and close this right here. I'll export it. I'll press OK. And then I created a new folder called Tests. And I'll go ahead and name this Sam. And I will export this. Okay, I went fairly quick, so I'll go back to Unreal Engine and then go to that folder, test, and all we have to do is drag and drop that FBX into that folder we created in Unreal. Now, I'm going to go ahead and choose High Quality Shader and then press OK. All right, so I'll go ahead and reset this to default just to make sure we're starting from scratch. I'm not going to select any skeleton. I'm going to import it as Skeletal Mesh, and then I'm going to be using Use T0 as Reference Post. If you don't see that, you can go ahead and just untwirl advance, and you're going to see that right here. Now, I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to import animations, and exported time is OK. And then if I twirl advance here again, I'm going to change this to 60, which this is going to go ahead and import animation a lot faster than if I leave that blank. You can experiment with this if you want to, but for me, I usually put 60 on here. And then lastly, I'm going to uncheck Remove Redundant Keys. And I believe that should be all. And then once everything is good, I will go ahead and click Import All. So what's really going to happen now is the auto setup is now going to set up all the shaders for your character and your cloth physics and your hair material. 
So it's pretty nice since it is a drag and drop, and that's why they call it the auto setup. Because honestly, you don't really have to do anything else. You just import it and everything should be assigned. All the materials are going to be set, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so our character is now imported, and it's just now preparing some shaders right here. So you can see. And here we are. The character is in Unreal Engine 5 right now. And what I will do is I'll press G, just kind of see where the lights are kind of set up and see where this is pointing and where this is pointing. So I'll probably put her around this middle right here. And I'll double click the animation sequence. And you'll immediately see, and let me go ahead and compile some shaders. There's only 1,500 of it, so that should only take about uh, seven business days. So let me go ahead and uh, pause this video. Okay, so we are here in the animation window. And now if we play this, you're going to see that we have the character animating and physics, cloth physics already there, which is pretty darn cool. This is a good idea because like I said, this is probably the most simplest way you can get some nice, decent clothing for characters in Unreal Engine or NVIDIA Omniverse, right? And what's exciting about this is that they have a lot of good, great quality clothes in their marketplace. And I spend so much money on here. Uh, usually the fastest way for me to find the most high quality assets are if I just go like scan. And um, if I scroll down here, you're gonna start seeing these clothes for the character creator characters. Now, just be mindful because some of these clothes are not available for exporting to different softwares. So just make sure that whatever you pick here is exportable. They have different licenses, but some of these are only exclusive to iClone. So just keep that in mind. But these clothes right here, man, these are all like marvelous design quality clothes. And you can take it to Unreal and have physics, which is freaking crazy and what's cool is that if i go to the physics assets the actual physics capsule are already set up and obviously you can reduce these because as you all know these capsules actually affect how the physics the cloth physics is kind of working as you can see there if i move this around too much you see that that's affecting that cloth physics which again it's fully customizable all in engine because it is using unreal's cloth physics this is super, super exciting here. Um, and I guess I can show you the skeletal mesh. If I click on here right here, and then I'll go to active cloth paint, and let's kind of just dock it right here. You're going to see that we have the skirt painted already. And if you want to change the way this is kind of animating as far as the cloth physics go, you can go ahead and paint this or delete it or change it around, change the paint value. And if you want it, you know, simulating a lot more of the skirt, then you can do that. So if I go right here, as so you can see, the pink is really where it's going to be rigid, stiff. If it's white, that's what's going to be simulating. And this looks pretty good. It's already set up using that auto setup. You don't have to do any of this. Uh, you can just tweak it however you want. But man... Again, combined with high quality assets, and I'm really hoping that, you know, if you're losing, you're watching this, I really hope that y'all create more high quality assets uh, that we can actually export out because that would be super, super cool. So I'll take the skeletal mesh here and just drag her on the scene and I'll just reset her in the middle here and kind of just take a look at her, press G. And again, these character creator four, honestly, if you ask me, they look a lot better than character creator three pluses and again i really hope they create more character creator four characters like camellia here and i think kevin was the other guy um with awesome lighting and again i'm gonna be messing around in here kind of try to see if we can get some pretty good results out of this using my magic <laughs> but uh that's on another video i'll kind of mess around with lighting and things like that but to be honest these assets are pretty good and with lighting I think we can get some pretty good animations. Again, I'm going to play around with this a little bit more later. Uh, and if you want me to test some stuff around, you can let me know. But I've been meaning to test this. And if I go now to this temp motion, and she's going to go to her post, and I'll just extend this to 420. All right. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and simulate this. And then I'll press play. 
And now you're going to see that the cloth is simulating. Now, whenever you render this in MRQ, you don't have to like worry about you know simulating here because whenever it renders an MRQ, it already automatically does that. And yeah, that's a friggin' pretty decent simulation there, to be honest. And again, with the material editing, so easy. If you scroll down here, it's going to open up all the materials. So if I scroll down right here, we have the body and we also have the knee length skirt. Again, this is absolutely editable. So if I change the base color tint, I can actually change this to whatever color that is. I'm really bad at colors. Save it. And now you have that color. It's really easily customizable. All right, if you all have any questions, let me know. And if you want to see more iClone Character Creator 4 videos, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all later.